Today, we're gonna be playing with cows, drawing some blood, and getting our hands dirty. Today, we brought our large animal students out for their second clinicals so that they could get that hands-on experience. So we had them getting them into the cattle chute so that we could better restrain them, and then they were able to draw blood successfully, and then they were learning basic restraint techniques as well today. Make it smaller. All right, you'll slip around the nose first, just like we did with the horses. Flip it around the nose, and then bring it up behind the ear. What the, that's not? Mm -hmm, not the cow. Oh, the cow. <laughs> I think it is a lot of kind of taking a step back, getting that head space where they're like, they're bigger than me, <laughs> so um, they they can out muscle me. I can't just move them around and have a better technique for holding. So a lot of times when they're able to kind of step back, calm down, take a deep breath, and they go into that with an open mind, it helps a lot. Ooh, Beautiful. Nice. Good job. Um, one stick. So I want them to walk away with not only a sense of accomplishment that they are successfully completing this program and kind of learning the basics or the skills that they need to go into practice, but I want them to be confident in their skills based on some of my experiences. Anything that I can tell them from experience that I've learned, maybe the, even the hard way, um, so that they can avoid it, is always going to be gold for them.